time and time again on this channel, but Japanese built guitars truly are some of the best quality, most articulately built and best sounding guitars that you can buy, and Fender's Japanese built guitars certainly are no exception. But Fender Japan is a bit of a weird one, at least for us in Europe, because there's not any kind of standard range that is readily available like the Mexicans or Americans have. We see guitars every now and then. They're usually special runs or limited editions. And with the recent release of the limited traditional series from Japan, I thought it'd be a good time for us to sit down and ask the question, what's the deal with Fender Japan? <laughs> with a bit of history then. So Fender Japan can be traced all the way back to around 1982 when Fender was searching for a way to compete with the much more affordable Japanese built guitars in comparison to the American guitars that Fender were building. So they collaborated with, and I apologize if I get the pronunciation wrong, Kanda Shokai and Yamono Gaki to produce and sell Fender branded instruments under the name Fender Japan Limited. So they were produced in various factories over the years, either under the moniker of being made in Japan or being crafted in Japan, depending on whether the parts were shipped over there or produced in Japan. It's a bit of a long convoluted story that I, I don't really want to get into, mainly because I'll probably get it wrong. But let's fast forward to 2015. Fender decided to end their long-term joint venture in Japan and decided to take over the entire business themselves, which is pretty much where we get to today. <laughs> Japan do today then? Well, they primarily produce guitars now exclusively for the Japanese domestic market with standard ranges such as the Made in Japan Heritage and the Made in Japan Modern to name a few. These ranges are not available to us at all in Europe unless you want to start importing them from Japan which, let's face it, can get a little bit tricky. However, Occasionally, maybe once or twice a year, we get to see some special limited runs of Japanese built fenders come into the country. They're normally in very small quantities and once they're gone, they are gone. What this means is that in the UK, Japanese fenders become these incredibly rare, unique guitars that have Japanese craftsmanship and features and appointments that you really don't often see on any other fenders in the range. And because of their limited runs of unique models, Fender Japan guitars often lend themselves very well to collectors or somebody who is just looking for something that is unique and most likely not going to be seen anywhere else like me. So this is my own Japanese Fender. It's an Aerodyne Stratocaster. I think they made maybe 60 of this color for Europe and that's it. And once they went, they went and they're gone. This thing's got a flame maple top on it and there's a cream sort of binding around the sides which makes it pretty much unlike any other Strat that I've ever seen. I walked past this when it arrived into our guitar shop and I fell in love. I played it, I felt the Japanese craftsmanship and I just had to buy it. As someone who is lucky enough in this job to get to play loads of different American Fenders and Mexican Fenders, I can honestly say these guitars are 
incredibly well built. They rival American built fenders and often they're half the price. Now, as we've discussed, this was a very limited run. We only got two of these, so you can't get this one anymore. And I'm certainly not gonna part ways with it. But let's have a look at some of the ones that you can get from the newly released Japan Traditional Series. traditional guitars are faithful recreations of the classic 60s era Fender guitars so they're a little bit more conventional than some of the other Japanese Fenders that you'll likely see i.e. mine but what that means is they sit perfectly as an option in between kind of Mexican made and American made Fenders in terms of the price and honestly they really really do rival the more pricey American counterparts in terms of build quality and sound. <laughs> is Fender Japan. It's an opportunity for you to get some truly unique and rare guitars that are built in a country that is known for its craftsmanship and technique and that's all for a price that really gives you bang for your buck. As with all the Fender Japan models in Europe, these are limited runs so once they're gone, they're gone. And if you're watching this six months down the line from when this was released, the likelihood is there's probably some new limited edition Japan guitars that you should probably take a look at. But thank you as always for watching. If you're a Fender Japan owner like I am, then leave your love in the comments. If you're looking for one and maybe want a bit more advice, drop a comment as well. Let's start a discussion. Let's help each other out. If you enjoyed this video, leave us a like. Subscribe to see more things like this and we will see you very soon. <laughs>